Right now, the healthcare industry is uh, kind of undergoing a massive disruption. Almost every hospital is migrating to an electronic health record system, but none of them actually know how to do anything with the data. So they've got a whole bunch of data, but no information. I'm John Barry. I'm a senior platform engineer at Apervita. We're a platform for analytics. One of the major pieces of our business model is that we're ingesting a wide variety of hospital data, and hospital data varies from hospital to hospital, and we needed a way to accommodate that in such a way that we could still map it to algorithms and still execute on the data to deliver clinical outcomes. MongoDB is a critical part of our infrastructure because its dynamic schema allows us to ingest patient data in a way that maintains the fidelity at the hospital, yet still allows us to operate on it at runtime in a way that can deliver clinical outcomes. It's mind-boggling how much data is out there for patients. We looked at relational databases and we initially started our first iteration with a relational database, but the sequel was, shall we say, complicated. Right now we have three hospitals. You know, in three months we're gonna have another 12 hospitals. At the end of the year we're gonna have even more. With MongoDB, we're able to scale horizontally and via technology such as sharding, we're able to actually grow with it. Because it's healthcare data and patient data, there's a lot of regulatory compliance that we need to go through. We encrypt everything at rest. We also have a series of different layers of security protocols. We use MongoDB's authentication layer to ensure that MongoDB connections are always authenticated. We also have a whole layer of entitlements so that organizations don't muddy their data by accidentally seeing somebody else's. Without technology like MongoDB, I don't know how it would have been done.